Mail, mail, Paul. And US voters are well aware that Joe Biden does not have another four years in him, but what are you going to do about it? <laughs> only, only 38% of voters think Biden will be alive at the end of the second term, and more than a third believe Kamala Harris will be president by January 2029 if the 81 year old is re elected. Now, four years ago, if you tweeted that, you'd have probably been in a lot of trouble. Uh, to, to, uh, but now we've just got to the point where, you know, Everybody accepts that President Biden is sort of a bin fire that's slowly yeah. going to die at Which some is point. Kind of. I mean, if they want to, in, in, you know, elect a guy who probably doesn't have a full term in him, but they feel comfortable with that, I guess that's their choice. But you would think that would inform his choice of vice president, wouldn't you? Which is, mm, yeah. which I, I mean, don't I, think well, she was made with the expectation that she would actually be president four years ago. You wouldn't pick the most hated woman in America. <laughs> I mean, I mean, surely they're going to sub in Big Mike or uh, or um, you know, one of the or Gavin Newsom. Sorry, yeah. it was a well, joke, Gavin satirical Newsom. term. Yeah. <laughs> I meant uh, a man called Mike. Um, <laughs> um, but. <laughs> <laughs> but look, Biden. <laughs> Michael is three to one, apparently. Uh, sorry, no, a third favourite. Uh, seriously. Oh, okay. She's yeah. not even in the run. He, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, no, he, Trump's going to win back. anyway, yeah. unless they completely rig it. He needs to make it too big to rig, and then he, yeah. if it's too big to rig, Trump will win anyway. So it's all academic. But isn't it insane that 30, only 38 percent think he'll be alive? I mean, he's yeah. utter madness. Most powerful man in the world. I mean, he probably won't be alive. Does anyone know if he even is alive? No, we're not sure even now. We, there was a hologram rumours at one point. He does yeah, seem to yeah. be alive. He's out here doing horrific stuff like Trans Day of Visibility. Hating the, the other guy, American the people. Uh, leader of the House, Mitch. Uh, I was saying, well, yeah, McConnell. that was not Mitch Hedberg. But, yeah, Mitch McConnell <laughs> uh, has, I think he's gone, hasn't he? But he was like seizing. He's yeah. the same age. He, he was started freezing. To just completely freezing. Yeah. He, he was off. worse. He had to be restarted. Yeah, yeah, but I yeah. mean, that's the age. That's what can happen. Yeah, of course, it happens for a few months. It, you know? uh, uh, although, um, to the contrary of that, uh, Trump is only a few years younger. Yeah, and he is full of vigor. Yeah. He's full it, of beans. I don't not know. Not as much as he was, not but quite what he was. Right. You know, but, 2016. But he was... he's learned to work with what he's got left more effectively. Having said that, a lot of Democrats are very happy with the last four years, you know, but they're huh. obviously not happy. I can't think that they're happy with the, the totem, you know. Maybe they found a new form of government, basically, where the president is more of a figurehead, like 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 King Charles or something, almost. You know, I yeah. feel that's how they're operating now. They just have this nice old grandfather figure who lends a sort of down home normal. And Rockwell vibe to Transdale yeah. visibility. And looks you incredibly know. weak on the world stage. With unprecedented numbers of wars.